everyone. My name's Cassidy or Magical Martini. Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to share with you my Thomas Kincaid Disney painting collection. So I got these paintings probably about 10 years ago from Shop NBC. I'm not sure if they still sell them through there, but I will check and if they do, I will link them down below. I have five of the 14 by 14 inch canvases. So they're not original paintings, of course. Um, they're prints of kind of the main focus of the painting on a canvas that wraps around. So you don't see the full painting, but you do get like the majority of, of it. So um, I really, really love these paintings. If you don't know anything about Thomas Kincaid, he is he was known as the painter of light and he was contracted with Disney to do all these phenomenal Disney paintings. And so as soon as I saw them, like I just kept getting them. I haven't gotten any in a while. Um, I do want a few more, so we'll talk about that at the end, but let's just get into the ones that I do have. So my first one that I got is this beautiful Cinderella's castle. And the reason I got this is because I grew up about an hour away from Disneyland. So I was very lucky and got to go there all the time. And, um, it's just kind of my home away from home, but I had never been to Disney World. Um, it was the number one thing on my bucket list and I knew someday I would get there and I eventually did when I was 24. But um, before that, it was, it was just Disneyland for me. So I got this painting as just kind of a reminder to keep my dream alive. One day you will get there. And when I did, I actually took a picture from this same exact view. Um, so bucket list check, but it is stunning. Um, I'm gonna bring it in close so you can see some of the details. There's of course a rainbow. I think he has a rainbow in every one of these paintings. You see a little tink right there. And just look at the detail of Cinderella's castle. And it's actually a double rainbow. So let me get in there. So pretty, so much gorgeous detail. Water with swans and a little walkway here. All these beautiful plants. And then on this side, there is, you can see part of a deer and then it wraps around and there's a little baby. So I like to think that that's um, Bambi and his mama. Um, and then just all these beautiful trees. It's so pretty. Ugh, I can't. And it wraps around on the sides, the top, and the bottom. And the thing about Thomas Kincaid too is he does hide stuff in the paintings. So I haven't found many secret things in this one, but I do have um, some secret stuff in some of my other paintings. So I'm excited to show those to you guys. But so this was the very first one that I got and Cinderella is definitely one of my favorite Disney movies and I love this castle. I think it's just so beautiful. It's so big and I mean it definitely makes a statement um, and I love that. And then all of them come with a certificate of authenticity. So there it is. And I think at the time I paid like $80 each. Um, I obviously didn't get them all at once. I got them over the course of maybe a year or so. So that is my first one. And I think it will come as no surprise what my second one is. It is my all time favorite Disney movie. And it is, oh no, oops. It is Beauty and the Beast. And just look at how absolutely stunning this is like this one is by far my favorite um wow that is all i can say about this just wow 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 
Okay, so let's get in there and show you some of the details. So in the back here, of course, we have the Beast Castle. We have another beautiful rainbow. Here we have Belle and Beast in their evening gown, gowns, dresses, dress up, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm a little tired. But anyway, um, you have the footstool. You have Mrs. Potts and Chip. You have Cogsworth and Lumiere, and I love how big they are because they are one of my absolute favorite parts of Beauty and the Beast. Then you have this beautiful, and see the way that he captures light? Like, how does he do that in a painting? It's so crazy to me. It blows my mind how talented he was. He has unfortunately passed away, but, um, and then you see the water coming through here, if you look onto the side here, you can see Belle and Maurice's cottage right there, which is super awesome. Here's the top. The rainbow continues and some flowers. Over here, that's the side there, and the bottom there. Um, in the actual full-size picture or painting, um, Maurice is in like a hot air balloon in the sky, but it didn't quite make it on here just because of the size. Again, these are 14 inch by 14 inch. And then here's the certificate of authenticity. It keeps coming off the back, but there it is. So absolutely love, 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 love this painting. Oh, so pretty. So the third one that I got is my second favorite Disney movie and it's perfect timing because it is coming out this week. I already have my tickets for Friday night. Actually, I'm probably going to be posting this on Friday, so I'm probably going to be seeing it tonight. Yay! I cannot wait. Ugh. Okay, but anyway, this is the Lion King version and if you hear my dog, I apologize, he's a little restless because I'm not paying attention to him. But look at this painting. Oh my gosh, I can't. It is just so gorgeous. Okay, so we have Pride Rock. We have Rafiki holding up Kiara, Simba and Nala's daughter. We of course have Simba and Nala when they're grown up. We have Timon and Pumbaa over here, and we can't forget Zazu. If we go underneath Pride Rock, there's Scar and Shenzi and Bonsai and Ed. I love this so much. Scar is one of my favorite villains and I love that they have him there with like this intense purple background. It is gorgeous. And then as we move over, we see all the animals from within the Pride Lands. We have zebra, we have giraffes, we have wildebeest, monkeys, all sorts of animals. And then as you go further, you see all the pride lands. And then as you look up into the sky, he's kind of on the edge here, but you see Mufasa in the clouds right up there in the corner. Can you, can you see him? Oh, I'm going to cry so hard at that scene in the movie because I always have to fast forward it in the cartoon but anyway and then all these beautiful rays coming down like oh this painting so here's the side we just have some more animals there's the top and here is the other side and the bottom so we have more animals and just, oh, it just makes such a statement. Wow. And then here's the certificate in the back, but, oh, so pretty. And the last one that I technically bought for myself is this one. It is Cinderella which is my third favorite Disney movie. And there's a lot going on, like, started getting a little busier <laughs> as um, he did more movies. But the details in this are amazing. And there's some really cool hidden stuff in it too. So I'm really excited to show you. Let me get in here. So over here you have 
um, Prince Charming's castle. Up here, if you can see, you have the fairy godmother and she's kind of invisible, but you can see her on top of that beautiful rainbow. And then here you can see the carriage and then the town. And if you look real close, there's Pinocchio walking down the walkway. And then um, I'll show you the side in a second because there's another hidden thing. So you go up the walkway and you have Bruno. I love Bruno so much. And then as you come closer, there's, where are they? I want to make sure I point them out correctly. So on all these different lily pads are the different mice. Um, here is Gus Gus. Can you see him? I hope you can. And then... Where's Jacques? He's somewhere. Oh, I think he's, I think he's the one on Bruno's back. There's quite a few mice around here. Then you have Cinderella and Prince Charming and all this magical fairy dust happening. And then the little pond, oh, so pretty. So the thing I wanted to show you over here is if you look real closely in that window, that's Snow White. So I think that's really cool that Snow White and Pinocchio are in the Cinderella painting. Um, let's see if I'm missing anything else. Oh yes, <gasps> I didn't even know that that was a thing. This just made me so happy. I've never noticed this before. On the side is Lucifer. And I have been kind of obsessed with Lucifer lately because I've been binge watching the show Lucifer and it made me have a little more of an appreciation for this mean cat. But um, I, I love that Lucifer is there, that's so cool. And I also just realized Lady Tremaine is right there. That's so cool. This painting has so much in it. It is absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. And here is another certificate of authenticity that keeps falling out. But again, these are like 14 years old, maybe. So there is my Cinderella one. And then this next one I did not buy for myself. I actually bought it for my mom for Christmas one year, but she has unfortunately passed away. So it is one of the things that I made sure to get when we went through her things. Um, I'm gonna try to do this without tearing up. But um, Bambi was her favorite Disney movie. So I got her this gorgeous Bambi painting. And um, she was just very much like an outdoorsy person. She loved the, she just loved nature. She loved trees and the mountains and waterfalls and deer. We would go camping every year and we would always have so many awesome experiences with deers. So I definitely had to get this for her and it has so many gorgeous details. Um, let me just refresh my memory a little bit so that I can point everything out correctly. Okay, so let's start down here. We have Bambi when he is a little deer and he is so adorable and look, you can call me a flower if you want to. Uh, I know that's not exactly how it goes. He says he can call me a flower if he wants to, but I just changed it for sake of making more sense. There's Thumper. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And um, I just love the scenery. Like, oh, he's really good. Um, Thomas Kincaid is really good at Beautiful wilderness scenery, obviously. <laughs> all of these beautiful waterfalls and all the foliage. Here's his iconic rainbow. And then I'm not sure if this is supposed to be Bambi when he is grown up or um, if it's supposed to be his dad watching over him. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, oh, I never realized this before. Oh, okay. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Over here is Bambi's mom and a little Bambi. So it's like, I think this might be Bambi. Maybe it's the stages of his life. 
Like, that's when he was with his mom, it's when he was with his friends, and then that's when he's, like, looking out over when he's kind of taking over. Um, but I love, like, this, um, thunder and lightning detail, and, like, all the birds. There's lots of little birds. So here's the side and the top. There you go. And there is the bottom. And one thing that I found that is a secret, um, kind of hidden thing in here is, um, oh my goodness, I didn't even notice that. Wow, that's so cool. It's gonna be really hard to see, but right here, it's like a frozen pond, and it's Bambi like when he's like on all fours. I've never noticed that. Wow, see, you have these for so long and you never notice it. So this, it might be hard to see, but in the mountain right here, there is an outline right above my finger there. Can you see Bambi's mom? Here are her ears, here are her eyes, here's her nose. And so like this is the whole like bottom of her face. She's right here. I hope you guys can see that. I think that's such a gorgeous touch. Obviously very symbolic to me because this was my mom's. So um, there it is. I absolutely love it. Here's the certificate. And so this goes next to um, a photo of my mom in this kind of section that I have in our living room that has some of her things. So that is where this lives. The other four paintings that I have that were the ones that I actually bought for myself um, live in our dining room on either side of this large window. So that's why they're not behind me. I just want to be able to enjoy them all the time. So they're out in the main rooms of my house. But I really hope that you enjoyed seeing a closer look and seeing my collection of Thomas Kincaid Disney paintings. Which one is your favorite? Um, mine, I think just like for looks purposes, um, it would definitely be Beauty and, Beauty and the Beast because that's my favorite Disney movie. So it's just, it calls to me. But honestly, all of these call to me for different reasons. Um, getting to go to Disney World and having Cinderella's Castle as kind of like my dream board for a long time is just really special to me. And then my three favorite Disney movies and obviously the Bambi one because of my mom. So, I mean, they're all amazing. I would really love to get the Tangled one and the Princess and the Frog one because those are my other two favorite Disney movies. Um, this whole series is just gorgeous. Honestly, if I could have every single one, I would, but it, that's a little unrealistic because I don't have enough wall space. But, um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you love Disney as much as I do. Don't forget to like and comment down below. I really do love connecting with you guys. And if you are returning, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. And I hope that you all have the most magical day. Bye.